Hi, Air Signs, Tarot Twins here. Welcome, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, to your Let's Spy on Your Lover and Your Ex Tarot reading. Black Feather is joining me here today. Hi, Air Signs. I'm going to be doing your current lover. Yes, and over on this side, I'm going to be doing your ex. We'll spy on them. We'll see what's coming up next to this person, what they're doing, what they're up to, how they're feeling, what they're thinking. Um, if you'd like a private reading with both of us, please feel free to email me. Um, my email is listed below and make sure you put in Tarot Twins as your subject line and we can go ahead and arrange a reading with limited availability. Hopefully we can squeeze you in. Otherwise, really appreciate you joining the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Black Feather, I'll hand it over to you. All right, I'll kick this off with your current romantic energy. So I'll give the cards a shuffle and see. Um, let's spy and see what's um, what's going on with them, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, what they're doing. You know, you want to know air signs. Don't deny it. Oh, you're definitely a curious one. <laughs> it's just in our nature. Okay, you've got the Knight of Pentacles here and the Magician. The Two of Pentacles here, Justice. Six of Wands and the Lovers card. Ooh, okay. Gemini, you've come up. Gemini and Libra, actually. Aquarius, you're nowhere to be found. Strong romantic mm. energy with the Lovers card. Strong romantic energy here. So I get a sense that there may be feelings of love or like deep lust or infatuation involved in this connection. Okay, um, your person is definitely thinking about you here. Your person is definitely feeling your emotions, feeling your energy. And I say that because the Lovers card, I get a sense of a possible soulmate or a twin flame connection in a sense where the two of you are actually at this point in time, believe it or not, guys, you are missing mirroring each other so if you find yourself thinking about them chances are they're thinking about you synchronicity it's synchronicity it's just like you're constantly mirroring each other you know if, if you're if you find yourself really feeling their energies it's because they're feeling your energy too it's almost like um, I can put it down to like a psychic con uh, psychic connection now when I say this person mirrors you it's also um, I feel like this is also important for me to know that they're also mirroring it's like they're holding up a mirror to you and they're throwing back almost like your flaws or your shortcomings and you're doing the same to them. So I feel like this is a very deep connection in which the two of you can are uh, really challenging each other. Okay. And I feel like you can really like sort of push each other and help each other grow and evolve here. Your person is really focused on career right now. I'm also seeing that there is some sort of planning, decision making that's happening around their energy. Um, they're looking forward to something. If some of you have set a date for something here or um, if some of you have organized or trying to orchestrate some sort of event or attendance here, this person is really hopeful and is mm. looking forward to it, towards it. It's like they're almost counting down the days towards something here. They're doing a lot of planning as well. I also feel like career here is a big focus. I feel like your person is very ambitious. They've got a lot of goals here that they're trying to sort of walk to, uh, work towards and achieve. The magician's energy here, if the two of you, sorry, if the two of you, if any of you actually have a question in mind as I'm doing this reading, the answer is a resounding yes, especially when the magician shows up it's always a yes all things are possible all things are limitless with the magician um, in appearance here I'm also seeing that you're um, you're going to hear from this person very shortly after the reading here um, I feel like maybe the, your person is going to reach out is going to connect with you or you, the mm -hmm. two of you are going to make some sort of um, you make plans or make a date here to see one another. Two of Pentacles here. There is some inconsistencies with your person's energy, but I also feel like maybe your person is a little bit up and down, or this connection is a little bit up and down. I mean, it is sort of like a reminder that life is made out of uh, life is made up of cycles. I also feel like your person is juggling a lot. Now, Justice, your person. You and your person need to set something straight, guys, okay? They want to set something straight with you, or you need to set something straight with them. It's like, okay, there's an imbalance in your connection right now, and what needs to happen is a balance and equilibrium needs to be restored, because right now, something's a little off-center. Something, something mm. is a little bit imbalanced. They want justice for something. They do. They want justice, they and want they a, want truth. That, is this an ultimatum, do you think? Could be. Here. Could be. It's like for once and for all, they want to get down to the bottom of something. It's like they want to set the record straight. They 
they want justice. They're seeking justice, nothing less. Six of Wands, there is a possibility for the two of you to move into a very positive direction. I feel like your person here is, despite the imbalance or despite the inconsistencies here, I feel like your person is looking towards the future. It does help that you've got the Lovers card here, strong romantic energy, and at the end of the day, love conquers all. Um, mm. And I feel like the two of you, if you sort of come together to cooperate, okay, if you come together to sort of try and make it work, and if you keep a commitment, to this commitment, I really do feel like, you know, you will conquer these challenges. Um, and I really do feel like, you know, this movement, this forward movement, this forward momentum and this progression all in the right direction. But that's if and only if signs if the two of you come together, okay? You need to sync up because right now you're a little bit imbalanced. Your, your energies are currently not, I mean, there's love, there's lust or there's infatuation or attraction. But we need a little bit more. We need that justice, Whatever yeah. that justice is for you, we need that to happen mm. here. Okay, so that is your current romantic energy. Now we're going to move over to your ex and see what's going on with your ex's energy. Are they thinking about you? What's going on with them? Have they moved on? Have you moved on? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Ooh, the devil. We've got a Cappy, Scorpio, and Taurus that has come up. Um... Not sure. Some of you may be dealing with someone who is or was one of these signs. Okay. I get the sense that there is some sort of attachment or obsession. I get the sense that um, your ex is actually doing some spying on you as well. Especially if they haven't heard from you in a while. You've left them guessing. You've disappeared. You're in no contact. You're doing your own thing. Um, they're trying to search for you. Okay. They're, they're wondering about you. They're thinking where... Where are you? What have you been doing? Um, they're missing you, especially in an intimate capacity. Okay, strong sexual message here. Um, and I get the sense that this person is missing the physical. Okay, they're still drawn to that or they're still thinking of you. So you must have done something that was very memorable for them. Okay, and they're still thinking about it. So interesting that that has come up. Um, I get the sense that this person is still stuck in the past in some regard. I don't feel like they're completely over you because the death card is not being able to maybe deal with the past or dealing with what you had and the six of cups can also be the past as well so we really have two cards that would indicate this person is still hung up in the past um possibly hopeful that the two of you could bump into each other or meet once again especially if you've said no um air signs because you are the swords if you're the one that sort of rejected this person if you said no to this relationship then that might be the ex that's sort of um uh, that's sort of feeling this way more so. Um, they're doing really well in their job, though. The focus is on career and money-making opportunity. They could be becoming very success. Uh, they could be becoming very successful at this point. Um, some of you, this ex is like moving back to their hometown, um, doing something for their kids, especially if you have kids together. Uh, they might be doing something there. But I get, for the most sense, they're either relocating back. Um, or they're going back to their childhood somehow. Something about revisiting family, maybe. Um, so I get there's a strong emphasis on family, the family home, and money-making opportunities as well. Um, the, the, the Four of Cups tells me you're suddenly, maybe, around this time of doing this reading, you're suddenly going to pop into their mind. Um, okay, they might see a picture of you, or they might be, um, they might be sort of, watching a movie or they might do something and suddenly you come up in their mind and they're like wow this is unexpected so I think you're sort of sparking these sorts of thoughts and these memories these thoughts um, for this person because I see there's like an epiphany it's very sudden with the four of cups um, but I, I do feel like because the king of pentacles is represented by uh, Venus okay Taurus energy is Venus straight away I get the sense that this person is um, either seeing someone else okay if this isn't them like maybe trying to connect with you okay booty calls for some of you if this person is not doing that I get the vibe that they're sort of um playing the field okay so I, I don't get the sense that they're in a committed like relationship and they you know there's no marriage card here or anything it would be more that they're sort of being open to love this this card is like the dating card the king of pentacles you know he loves good music nice food good wine um and likes to dress up so right now this person is i would say in a dating stage mm -hmm. um 
possibly, you know, maybe even sleeping around. Um, like an open relationship? Yeah, maybe. it's like an open relationship. They're possibly, I mean, or they're maybe, maybe in the very early stages of a relation, of a new relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, they might have met someone maybe in the last six weeks, six months, six days. And they're sort of just seeing how that goes. But the death card, the six of cups, still always tells me that there is some sort of lingering attachment still within them. And I think on some level that's preventing this person from moving much forward than they are. Um, in this new connection or this new relationship. So, um, yeah, that they're, they might be trying to deny it, but I think at the end of the day, you're going to come up in their memories and their thoughts. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be heightened for them. I think that's what your ex is, is thinking and feeling. So really interesting reading. We hope that has been helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Air Signs, if you'd like a private reading with us. Please feel free to reach out and inquire and just don't forget to list the tarot twins in the subject line. Thank you guys as always for watching and for listening. Your time and attention is greatly appreciated. We will be sharing more tarot love messages with you guys later in the week. So stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now. Much love. Bye for now.